All right. I'm either going to have a pretty good windmill or a really weird looking lollipop. Alright, so now I gotta make an equilateral triangle in here. So we're gonna first off start out with a mark on the outer diameter. Make this go right straight through what I think would be the center of my hole. and then make a mark on this side so now I need the length of my radius on here so the radius looks to be what the heck is that seven and this thing's really hard to read once all this rust gets on here so seven and one and let's see one two three one two three eighths seven and three eighths so now we'll go to seven and three eighths here and we'll put a mark right here and then we'll do the same thing on this side seven and three eighths and we'll make a mark over here. So, just for you guys to see, I'm going to measure and draw my line, and then draw my line this way. So I'm basically going to use from the radius to each of these points. That will be my this divided into three parts. So I'll be drilling holes along these parts right here. And then I'm going to just transfer this, the ends anyway, the points, over onto my other circle. Now it's my starting point for mounting these blades. All right, I took my uh, outer ring and, and placed it down here and drew a circle around it, so I made sure I wasn't going to be drilling into that space. And then I took and measured every ten centimeters. I'm sorry, every two centimeters along the each line there, so that I have my marks for where I want to drill holes. Except for, as you can see, this hole is not working. It's a uh, pretty dull. Let's try a bit that's not dull as crap.
Well, I gotta say, that's good enough for the girls that I go out with. You can barely see it, but I've drawn a line pretty much halfway through these, just to give me an idea where the halfway point is on this. Um, put my drill bit back in the center of these, uh, taking out one of the screws. I drilled all these out where I want them to be, but again, since I don't have a, since I don't have a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a drill, drill press, there we go, since I don't have a drill press, um, all these holes are not exactly center, not exactly spaced out very well, so since they're all different, I've actually labeled each one of these, because it should be basically the same here as it is on the bottom piece. Um, so this is going to be one, two, three, label. Um, and that way I can label these specifically to these. So I'll drill out one and then put the other one on top of it and drill out the other one. Um, I'm just starting off with basically, I've already got some here, but I'm starting off with putting in place up against the drill bit right at the halfway point. Of course it's flipped over. Um, and then look underneath from under here and line up this line with this line as I place it down. And I put a clamp on it, and I go ahead and drill out this hole and the second to the last hole. That's gonna be good enough for first test. If I need to, then I will drill out more holes so I can adjust this where I need it to go. Um, but because these are all numbered, I can actually see exactly where they need to go. So nothing should be all that bad there. So basically gotta take this piece, it down. We still got to do number three here. Um, of course I've labeled which side is my cut side with this dot. So I'm going to actually place the dot up against here and then whenever I go put my two pieces together to line them up so I can drill through for the second piece, I'm going to put dot side, dot side and actually place those two down because there's a little bit of a difference on the height for these. So yeah. We could always trim that part off later if we need to. So anyway, we'll go ahead and put this down. Line up my line. And there we go. Now I'm just going to clamp it. And the reason why I went with the second to last hole it's just because my clamp is kind of going in the way of the first one. So, so there we go. Now I'm just going to flip it up and use this to keep everything centered. And we'll go ahead and go through the first place. Is it perfect? Probably not. I'm pretty much going to have to give up that idea of perfectionism. But I can try my best to get it as perfect as I can. So. Are we through? We're through. Since this is a prototype, who really cares? I mean, we get it as perfect as we can. We're just trying to get this thing going so we can test it. Let me label it. We'll put these together. And these, for some reason, they're way off. You may ask, why am I putting this on the side and that's because I want them to be the hole to be the in the exact same place centered about to hit the hand It's 
bolt it together and see what we get. One's going to be for the bottom, one's going to be for the top. Yeah, like this. All right, for testing purposes, I need to put a place on each one of these um, to where I'm going to put one hole, one centered hole. Um, I guess I need to make it far enough up that I could actually mount two holes um, because one of these will be going up to here like this and I'm going to actually have to have one hole and one hole and whether it's pointed like this or like this or whatever um, it needs to have two holes to keep it in place for testing purposes I think I'm going to put it roughly about like that right there put my first one hole and then just tighten down you know since it's for testing I'm going to tighten it down and uh, test it at basically 90 degrees right here whenever I get the right dimensions or diameter for the overall rotation then uh, then I'll work on adjusting the angle of this until I get the maximum amount of movement versus with with the same wind so so I'm going to pick a place right here and go ahead and drill my hole so I can get this thing mounted and actually see what it does test it and everything I think somewhere around here would be ideal so just to make sure I get in the same place for each of them I'm going to use this to measure to where I where I need it to go kind of hard to do because this thing is moving but keep it on the flat side here go ahead and draw my line since all of these holes are in the same places on each part then I can just measure off of this these these holes probably this one um, that way I get my my point of reference for where I'm going to actually drill this hole through so I guess for uh, simplicity's sake let's see we'll just go with one two might be a little off let's see how that works if I were to drill my hole right here how would that go you got enough adjustment that way I think we got plenty of adjustment that way so we're going to go with that so now I just have to mark the other ones and then go ahead and drill my hole and then mount this thing up there we go it's going to be a little more difficult I got to do this one in here because I'm actually going to use this instead of the very top so uh, well, not really too much more difficult, just a little bit. So I'm going to do the same thing with this, and, uh, and then the same thing on all three parts. All right, I just drilled those holes, but I ran into a little bit of a problem. If I put, this is the bottom, which would be flipped over, of course, and, uh, and I put this is where the other one's going to mount, at least for now, for testing, um, we're going to have the issue of the only way that I could put this further in for testing a, a smaller diameter would be to actually cut this. I don't want to do that yet. Um, since I'm not actually mounting this yet, I'm just testing it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just put the same holes on the very top, which like I said, this is flipped over. This would be the top. And uh, put the same holes on the top so that I can actually test all the way through multiple holes and stuff and have it stick out if I need it to for now and then later I can actually once I figure out what's the the good diameter then I can go ahead and cut these to length so that they will fit inside this crevice you know so we'll go ahead and do that so at this point these things may actually be a little too long little longer than the other ones somehow in the, the way this is all mounted so to try to keep it as even as possible I'm actually just gonna take my my ruler and uh, come out from you know just pump it right up against this 
come out from here to make my mark for wherever I'm going to put my hole. And I'll do the same thing on all of them, so hopefully it'll be the same diameter, at least as good as we can get from the shape of this. So, uh, we're going to start out towards the end. Total thing looks like it's sticking out about 20 centimeters. So, we'll actually just go with 19. And the reason why I'm going with centimeters is just because, well, it's just easier. So we'll turn this thing around, go ahead and do all of them. We'll actually do the same thing with the other piece. On this one, I actually have it made a little bit better because I've still got my center line on these. So I don't even have to worry about centering it. I can just drill my hole. You know what? That doesn't exactly look center. So... I'm going to go remark all these with the opposite way, or the opposite side that I marked it on, and then take the center of each of those marks. Yeah, and it's not. I should have checked it. Way off. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I mean, I probably have at least an eighth of an inch between those two lines. That's how far I would have been off. Wouldn't have probably mattered too much, but yeah, if we're trying to go as precise as possible, it's best to just do it the right way. Like everything I do with this is throwing it off a little bit more and a little bit more. I'm hoping the final product is somewhat balanced. So if you drill into wood grain, it kind of follows the grain. So every little hole is off. It just drives me nuts. It'd be helpful, more helpful anyway, if I actually had a. Uh, uh, a drill press, but I don't. There we go, let's mount these. I'm ready to see it in operation. Look at that. It's actually somewhat clean. So let's see if we got enough uh, enough room for this thing to rotate without hitting anything. Well, looks like we've got that part. So now, see me. Now I'm actually going to go through and set these all to 90 degrees. Go ahead and tighten them down. See me still? Oh, man. 
me it doesn't look like they're the right angle. But it's a good angle to start with. Hopefully it's stable enough we can do a test real quick. Got the end back here, roughly looks like about six feet away. And uh, <clears throat> put it on low and see what happens. Looks like she's starting. Well, there's a proof in concept right there. Is it perfect? No way is it perfect. But it seems to actually work. So what are we getting right here? This is low speed. It's six feet away. And we're getting, I got a mark on here. It's like one rotation about every, let's see, one, two, three, so three and a half, four seconds, something like that. Let's see how she holds up on medium. So we've got a working concept right here. Um, and we got what, 30 bucks maybe? That, I mean, I like that. So, now we got to figure out how to stabilize it, how to put a shaft in there, um, different things like how to waterproof it, because wood isn't really all that waterproof. Um, and then we got to work on what should it drive, you know? We, uh, you know, we want it to, to be driving something, because right now it's not doing anything. It's just spinning. So... Well, of course, we do have to test it in the, in the elements outside because the wind isn't constant like this. So, you know, who knows how it's going to hold up to higher winds. Granted, I'm not going to put it through that until I actually do have a shaft going through the center of it uh, because we need it stabilized a lot better than this for, for, you know, for the wind. But, yeah, right now we just we need to test it out see what's the, uh, the best diameter overall because I've got plenty of room to be able to move those blades in some although that looks like a good good diameter I may keep it like that so one of the things I may do is uh, actually time my rotations and figure out how many revolutions per minute I'm getting and um, and then maybe adjust the angles on here because right now it's at 90 degrees and who knows if that's the best angle or not we count the revolutions per minute, we change the angles, and then we count it again. See how it changes. If it goes up or down, we know what, you know, we're moving in the right direction and basically just tweak it until we get the best we can. As long as we keep our wind, you know, the velocity of the wind the same and keep the uh, you know keep it in a controlled environment like this, we can test it like that and see where we go with it. So really guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you like it. And uh, definitely like and subscribe to uh, to see what all else I'm going to do with this because I've got I've got some crazy plans I think I want to do with it and, and maybe even just do multiple things with it. So I mean it's once it's running it's free energy. We can do whatever we want with it as long as we can set it up properly. So appreciate you guys watching. Y'all have a good day.